Yesterday, we hosted characters from books written by the most well-known children's author, Dr. Seuss. His birthday was yesterday, but the celebration is still going on, and Mary DeWaltz from the Ada Community Library is here to tell us how very good morning, Mary. Good morning. Thanks so much for starting your day with us. We understand you guys all week long are celebrating Dr. Seuss's birthday, and you're asking for help from kids, right? We are, actually. Uh, yes, libraries actually across the valley are celebrating with story times in the library. I have two branches, Victory and Hidden Springs, that have story times today. Oh, nice. We're hoping people will come to. And music and movement, a la Dr. Seuss tomorrow at our Hidden Springs branch. Programming all across uh, the week, as you mentioned. And we're going into the schools this week as well to uh, bring Dr. Seuss into the classroom. And you brought uh, Oh, the Places You'll Go. Is that, is that one of your favorites? I did. Well, it is definitely one of, the, <laughs> one of the classics by Dr. Seuss. And I brought it because, yes, indeed, Oh, the Places You'll Go. He invites you to go everywhere. We hope you go to the library as part of your... And we understand also you're asking kids to make some donations, too. Any books maybe you have that the library could use for their collection, correct? Yes, the libraries uh, definitely can use your help. Um, Donated books make a real difference to us. We either add them to the collection, we share them with our partners, daycares or uh, schools, or uh, sell them at book sales if uh, we don't necessarily need them to buy new books for so, kids. Yeah, so remember, the library is a community effort, and so when people pitch in, it helps everybody around. So thank you so much, Mary, for telling us a little bit about that. In fact, if your kids need a little more incentive for that donation program Ooh. to the library, let's uh, actually see, let's have, head over to the Cisco Kitchen with uh, Jillian this morning and see how Tucano's Brazilian Grill is getting involved. Good morning. Good morning, Spencer. That's right. Irene Ortega, she loves Dr. Seuss as well. And we understand you're pitching in to help this book donation. For those who donate books, they kind of get a little treat when they come to Tucanos, right? Absolutely. So we're all about families. Uh, we actually, uh, kids six and under, always eat free at Tucanos. Oh, cool. So we want to bring the family together. There's not that many places where you can go to a fancy restaurant with your family and kids. So we want to bring that fun, that festivity to Boise. So what we did is we partnered up with the Ada Community Libraries to take donations for books all this week. We're going to give them a free kids meal or a free dessert depending on their age. Mm -hmm. And then um, we're going to take all those books at the end of the week and take them to the Ada Cam County Libraries oh, so that we can great. share along the community. Yeah, that sounds like such a great idea. So we're going to make one of those free desserts, which is the Cat in the Hat Cupcake. It looks like red velvet. It is. It is. That's one of our favorites. So red velvet's the way we're going to go. Uh, I'll do you want to do yes, it? Yes. Okay. I love so. making cupcakes. I do love making cupcakes, but I'm not so good at this fancy decoration stuff, so we'll try it. That's the thing. This is <laughs> super easy because we wanted to share with the kids. Uh, I have a three-year-old, and he wanted to help celebrate yeah. Dr. Seuss. So we're going to okay, do these cupcakes. We do? We're going to start out with just a little red dot on the top. Just one little mm -hmm. red dot. Okay. <laughs> it comes out. <laughs> is that enough? That's good. Okay. Yep. So that's just a red velvet cupcake out of the box, so we can make it at home, no problem. Yeah. This is a chocolate disc. We just melted it in a circle okay, and froze it up, okay. topped it off for the brim, and then you're going to do another layer of red. Okay, on the marshmallow? Either way, you can do it on the marshmallow. Just make a big red circle. <laughs> Get it on there. There we go. Okay. Squish that on. And then do one more big red circle. Okay, lay it on here. Mm -hmm. So all you really need is the red velvet cupcake mix, the white chocolate, marshmallows, and red frosting, and then top it off with one more. This is so cute and so easy, too. Just get those big marshmallows and cut them in half, probably, right? Yeah, they're, they're a little big for the whole cupcake, but we cut them in half, and then you have your Cat in the Hat yeah. cupcake. That is so, so it's just fun. something to make, bring reading to the kids and yeah. make it fun for them. So that's, yeah. our, that's our whole goal this week, and hopefully it comes across and the, we can share this, the books with the community. So. so bring any, is it any book or is it kids books? Any book probably, right? We're taking any books. Okay. Uh, kids books, obviously Dr. Seuss was all about kids, yeah. so we want to make sure that we share that joy of reading with them. But yeah, any, any book we'll take and we'll donate to the Ada, Ada Community Libraries. A great partnership for this week. And